Yo, what up? This is Mike Brown. This is Alpha. And this is the art of letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Yeah, man. So I wanted to jump into talking about having women friends. Right. Um, Keep you know, talking. we, we were talking you. earlier and I was just thinking um I was thinking really of like how much I enjoy the company of women and how hard it has become to have friends that are women now that I'm out. Um, yeah, that's kind of where I wanted to start. <laughs> okay. I feel it. I feel it. What about uh, why? Um, I don't know. I guess it's a lot of shame tied to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I've always gotten along with women like very well. Mm-hmm. And uh I don't know it just it just seemed like back in the day everybody was just assuming that i was fucking all these women or i was probably making people assume that i was fucking these women my apologies to all the women that i let just take a bad rap to save my own that's just me being real that's real um yeah man shout out all the women that just loved me too like just throughout school and all that shit like y'all definitely Help me become the man that I am today. That's real. Um. So you said you 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 did, and I'm I'm a, I'm, a talk, I'm definitely gonna talk about me, but this might just be your interview day, like you did me. I'm That's cool. But um, what a, you said shame, and you said you were hiding certain stuff. Um, like I said, man, you know, in school, like everybody wanted to know like who you was fucking or whatever and <laughs> right, shit like right. that, and. I wasn't fucking none of these girls I was hanging with. Right. I just really enjoyed their company. But, you know, I used to just let people assume that I was fucking or like, you know, that's fucked up. Yeah. Okay. So I was lying on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> that's real. That's real. Okay. I just wanted to get a kind of better understanding yeah. of what you were saying. We were definitely walking and talking about our old relationships with women. I just like, I prefer talking to women. Yeah. Like, I no, prefer- I do too. I prefer talking to women. Uh, I feel like they just have better conversation. Um, it could be because I'm, I'm attracted to women. Um, I don't know. Like women, honestly, women help me just talk in general. Like you know, when I think about college and just hanging out with my homeboys, who now I have like real deep conversations with. That's real. Um, I don't know. Women were having those conversations with me. Shout out Aaron. Shout out Jordan. You know, it's a lot of other women that were having those conversations with me as well. But, you know, those are like the most distinct ones to me, like just sitting up in the dorm room and talking about like marriage and families and shit like that. Like and now I guess, you know, being with dudes and shit, like having those conversations, I don't know, it's different, you know, because even even on the other side, like men just don't like to talk. That's true. And it's just men in general, not like a gay or straight thing, but just That's like true. men don't know how to communicate. And now that I've become a, a better communicator, it's hard to really just want to be around men all the time. Like sometimes I just want to hang with women and be okay with like just hanging with them and nothing coming of that. You're not okay with that right now? Um, I'm a little uncomfortable around women because sometimes like when, well, I take that back. Depending on how well I know the woman. Because, like, Jackie, for example. Shout out Jackie. I'm very comfortable with Jackie. Right. And I think it's because her and I have already had that conversation of, like, you know. Do you, do you, so this is something that you carry, right? Somewhat, yeah. Okay, so, and the reason why I ask that is because it sounds like these are things that you think that they may feel, but you you don't know yet. Right. Well, I've I've always felt like a lot, and you know that just made me just me be feeling good about myself. But I always felt like the women that hung around me, they were attracted to me. But you know, maybe that wasn't the case. Maybe they just thought I was a fucking cool guy, and <laughs> that's all it that's was. Real. But a lot of times, I used to hang with with fe- females, women, and once I start feeling like they were liking me or something, I would just distance myself. That's interesting. Yeah. Uh, okay. But I enjoyed a lot of y'all's company just on some real shit. I see what you're saying, right? Because I I feel like I'm kind of in that zone right now in my yeah. life. Like, 
once I feel like a woman might be attracted to me, I tend to back off a little bit more if it's more of a one-on-one kind of conversation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, I'm learning that, for me, I'm learning that something can start off like that and then y'all could just be real cool regardless. Like, this is something that I'm just kind of... Because before, like I've, I've talked about, you know, me being attracted to a woman and really acting on that attraction. And then I kind of stopped interacting with women all together because I was like, oh, I'm married and I'd be taking stuff too far and da 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 But now I think I'm starting to find that happy balance of I can be attracted to you, you can be attracted to me, and but we can if we start to talk and have real conversation, we can just be cool. And it can just be that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think for me is with I guess women of my past life. Okay. Because when I meet new women it's it's so it's cool to like you know it's easy to just tell them straight up like hey i'm gay right you know right that's not where i'm trying to go whatever Mm -hmm. but i guess with women that have known me before that it still just kind of sits with me you know yeah i think that to be real with you yeah i don't completely understand no that's all good and it's like but I want to Yeah You feel what I'm saying like, Absolutely We have Obviously we have Two different experiences Yeah And so I want to understand A little bit more of Where you're coming from Because I'm trying to relate But I feel yeah. like I don't 100% get it You feel me Nah and I, and I fully understand And you know For me It's still one of those things That I'm trying to To understand Because You know I feel like I used to think In my head That That most women Would feel a way About you know me and at the same time like they still treat me the same like still treat me like mike so you felt like they would feel the way about you because you were gay yeah got it okay okay huh that's interesting man and so i've told you this before but i feel like you teach me a lot about um i don't even know the proper way to say it so i'm just gonna say it being gay you teach me a lot about it you know what i'm saying because i feel like there's a lot that as a straight man i just don't understand and get about it even the the things that you might think about that may have hurt like me i'm sitting here thinking in this moment like your past relationships with these women that that thought would have never like friendship friendship that's what i'm saying like that thought would have never crossed your mind today right it's interesting to me that this is crossing your mind now you know what i'm saying and there's and and there's instances where you feel bad or you feel shamed or you feel like damn i shouldn't have did that you know like that didn't really cross my mind like even in all the conversations we've had and all the things that we've talked about that's why hearing this right now is just kind of like oh wow like this is different you know what i'm saying like this is a different perspective than one that i've previously thought of because i obviously have never thought of it so i'm interested to hear more brother if you want to (laughs) share um i don't know man like I mean, the most I could share is just like, you know, I should probably just reach out to to some of my friends and That's just, real. you know, really let them know how I feel because, yeah, I do miss a lot of my friends, you know, just on some real shit. Mm-hmm. Shout out Autumn. Shout out Casey. That's real. So do you think that you reaching out to them is more for you or more for them? That's for me. Okay. Yeah, like, okay. You know, I was just asking because, like, even outside of women, like, I feel like there are some friendships that I've had in general that aren't the same as they used to be. Mm -hmm. But because I've held on to something or I thought they may have perceived me a certain kind of way. And most times when I've had actually had the conversation, it was like, oh, we just weren't talking. Like, it wasn't really no reason. We just weren't talking. But in my mind, I created a dialogue to kind of tell me like, damn, I did this or I did that or I shouldn't have acted like this or I was depressed so I was kind of going through this and I probably sucked (laughs) at the time. And so that's why I asked that question because I feel like even now for me, um, having those conversations is important, but I have to recognize that the conversations are for me to hear. Yeah. So that the relationship can kind of continue because, well, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, uh, yeah, no, it's not even, it's not even like relationships that need to be repaired. It's just 
like I know my like I said my shame made me give distance right. to people right. that I know probably had love not probably had love for me but I know had love for me right you know every time I talk to Jordan she tell me she loved me that's word that's just on some real shit that's word so you know just recognizing love and I think I didn't recognize it before because I didn't love myself so you know that's just, word. just getting back to that and recognizing yeah I need to go back and reach out to some people you okay. know that I really fucked with and made me feel good in my life you know that's what's up just to reconnect um yeah man so it's crazy that is crazy uh when do you plan on doing that and you don't have to have a dead you don't have to I mean, have a deadline you know what i'm saying but i'm just, just i'm just asking just when i think about people just hitting people up you know um i do that now like sometimes when i think about somebody i just be like hey just thinking about you and it's funny uh yeah like there there are people that once i talk to them things just kind of just bounce back just the way they they do but i know for a long time i held on to that and i guess that was me just kind of like just reaching out in my own way yeah, you know that's real this is my mass text <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up yeah man i uh, i like it i like it i think it boils down to to just having being open to have that talk and not yeah. afraid and not afraid of what might come out of the conversation because i've had conversations with people in the past where we didn't talk for a while and i thought everything was cool and it wasn't and I'm not speaking on your situation. I'm yeah. just talking about me. You know what I'm saying? But that's definitely happened to me where I left the situation. Somebody may have felt a certain kind of way about it. And I thought everything was cool. But it was like, nah, bro, that wasn't really cool. And so when I finally had the conversation with him again and was able to hear him out, a lot of times it just takes that. Uh, just that communication. Just kind of opening the door to kind of talk about it. I know I'm talking about something different. No, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, but that's just something that I've learned, and I think it's just that's just on my heart right now. Like, yeah. Um, just because I feel like people fall out for no reason sometimes, and it's just really just a conversation, just having that conversation, and people get closed off. Like I've definitely isolated myself from people, and definitely run away from situations uh, that I didn't need to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it had a lot more to do with me than with them. So, I digress. I just, what you're saying right now has me thinking about something a little different. Um, and because of a conversation that I had earlier with a family member, it's making me think a little different too. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I definitely miss, to get back to what we were talking about initially, I definitely miss hanging out with more women. I actually prefer to speak to women. Um, on a, on a, I feel like women just have so much to offer. It's a, it's a different you know? energy, man. Yeah. Like I I love talking to women and being around women just because women don't have nothing to prove. Like right. at least most of the ones that I was around, like they all just wanted to talk. And <clears throat> being around men and and <laughs> like I, I was going to say I miss feminine energy, but it'd be a bunch of dudes out there thinking that they feminine, <laughs> but no, I'm talking about woman female energy. Right. That's real. I definitely miss it too. And I'm saying that like I don't have a wife and hang out with a wife all the time. But I miss having women friends that I can kind of call on and talk to about certain stuff. Um, I don't have as many. I definitely shout out Ariane. That's my my G. Shout out Erica. That's my G too. Um, but there's not a lot that I talk to on a on a consistent basis, and I, and I definitely want to get back to that. And just in general, man. Like outside of it being just women, there's just relationships that I want to uh, get back. Whether it be an old relationship or a new one, you know what I'm saying? Like not in the context of in, in relationship and it and some, sometimes it's just just a matter of reconnect like it don't even have to be nothing like just like i said if i'm thinking about you i hit you yeah and, you know whatever comes of that comes of that like it's not like i'm looking for nothing nothing like that like we all are like just in general people that are in so many different places in our lives and shit like you know that's real let everybody know where they can find you at um you can find me in the street <laughs> uh you can find me on alpha presents everything alpha presents everything is where you can find me a l f p h a underscore presents um on instagram twitter facebook um a 
a lot more stuff coming. A lot more stuff coming soon, man. Or it's coming. I don't know about soon, but it's coming. <laughs> Where can we find you at, Mr. Brown? You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all under Just Mike Brown, J U S T Mike Brown. Uh, website is primo Uh Yeah, and if you like to read, I post at Beats and Blunts on Tumblr. Yeah, man. So uh, this is Alpha. Before we go. If you would like to support this podcast, please, you are more than welcome to. We accept Venmo, PayPal, Cash App. Just keeping it real. Yeah. Just keeping it all the way real with y'all. We love doing this. We do. This is Alpha. This is Mike Brown. And this is the art of letting go. Letting go. Letting go. Peace and love. Yeah.